All right, hi everybody. This is Freddy or Golfer Fred, and I did a video. I would say about a week or two ago on what my pre routine is um, when I get behind the ball or being in the pocket is what I call it. Um, it was I, I was never really satisfied with that video because I mainly just talked about it. So I'm gonna attempt on. I'm going to attempt on uh, going through it and, and showing you what I do. Um, and again, I'm a 19, uh, 19 9 handicap and just played another uh, golf course here in the valley called Simron uh, in uh, Coachella Valley. And I shot an 88, which was phenomenal. So here it is. Here we go first. Um, get to the tee box, and of course, you already know where you already know your yardage. And of course, if you play courses that you know already, pretty much you're gonna know where, about where you're at. But it's always good to have a laser range finder, awesome, or Sky K, whichever one you prefer. Um, so now I've already lasered it. I already know where I'm at. Okay, and now like I. What I call it being in the pocket is I stand probably five, six feet behind the ball, maybe a little longer. And really all I do is line myself line myself up, especially on a first tee. And once I get a real quick movement of the entire pretty much of the entire hole, then I look at okay, where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna put myself? at the best possible spot to make a second shot. So then I figured, okay, the fairway wide open. I made the ball fairly straight. Um, there's two bunkers, on uh, one on the right, one on the left, but they're so far out that I can't get to them. So now it's just a matter of me making contact with the ball. And mind you, while I'm doing all of this, I'm reading. And I'm not just kind of you know, I kind of use my hand as a kind of takes practice. Um, so once I do that, then I go to the ball. Same my ball's here. I'm walking up to it. Same my ball's here, and I line myself up. I look where I'm going, and I like to do like. Uh, the doctor does. Just give a couple little, just a little, just a little. And for me, that's more of okay. Where do I want the club to release? You know, where I want to get it and give it to width to rotate. So once I do that, I got my grip, burning on there. It's a breathing one that's important. And you know where you're going, okay? And it's just a matter of you, what I call a uh, caveman ball, is club, hit ball, nothing else. And by this point, there's no cars, there's no other cars, there's nothing. It's just you hitting the ball. And so what I do is I just kind of Can't eat them all 100% every time. Um, but that to me is my pre routine, and I do it on every hole. I don't get in a rush. I don't get in, in you know, I don't rush myself. Um, I take my time. Don't go slow. It's always good on your scorecard. What I do is, I didn't do it on this one, but what I do is on the sport card itself. I would put um, the time I started. So, say I start at six o'clock. Well, six fifteen, I should be done with first hole. Six thirty, second hole, and go 
15 minute increments and if you do 15 minute increments um, you should be done with the course in three and a half, four hours right about there and that's about an average three and a half to four hours is about an average uh, is about an average for around the golf so there's times where you might play a little fast and you're noticing oh shoot you know I'm ahead of I'm ahead by a few minutes or whatnot. You know, and then you turn around and you're well looking out behind. So a big part of your breathing is to calm that down. You're not worried about that. You're just you're focused on making a shot. Okay. And all you're doing is just all you're doing is just making that just making that swing that you need that you need to make on it. I mean, and that's really all it is. It makes you move. I know a lot of times uh, when I do exercise, especially when I'm going on mornings, what I like to do is put my hands down, and then what I would do is I would go like this, and get your fist, and go like this. Let's see, let's see if I can do it right here. So I stand this way. Kind of do it that way. And all I do is go sideways, and you notice you're going to stop. And then you would use your muscle, your two hands, and just and just do it that way. And do it that way too. So, and that's all you're doing is doing all this right here, making sure that you, you have full mobility to move. Um, and that's pretty much what I do. Again, um, if there's anything I missed and you want to know about, you know, feel free to just leave the comments right there on the bottom. And um, I try to get to it as quick as I can. I'm typically on you know, YouTube every day. So um, I hope the video helped you out. And uh, just hit those, keep hitting those fairways. All right? Bye.